you know, the holidays are here, but there is something else to celebrate when it comes to food here in Detroit, and that is Sandwich Week. It's the week between Christmas and New Year's, and it's a way to support local sandwich shops. All right, and the person who told me about this is Carlos Parisi. He is the founder of Antony's Chips and Salsa. You see him at Eastern Market all the time. Carlos, he was one of my conversations with that you can watch on Local 4 Plus streaming right now, and you are live at Mudgies. Carlos, it's good to see you. What's going on? It's so good to see you too. It's been a while. I miss seeing you. Awesome cast. Uh, I'm happy to tell you about Sandwich Week. I mean, okay, so this has been going on for quite a while. You got to give us the backstory about how Sandwich Week actually started here in Detroit. So it's been 11 years. I started uh, when I worked in corporate before I started doing it full time. I used to just collect a list of sandwich shops with my friends that I worked with. And we realized that the week between Christmas and New Year's, when we had to work anyway, not a lot of people were working and we didn't really have to work that hard. So <laughs> we decided to go to all the awesome sandwich places that we wanted to go to. And uh, and we called it Sandwich Week. Instead of taking like a one hour lunch, we could take like a three hour lunch. And the uh, tradition has continued. And now year 11, it's become a huge thing here in the city with my friends and a bunch of other sandwich lovers here in the community. And I'd like to encourage anybody, no matter where they're at, that you just celebrate by eating sandwiches between Christmas and New Year's. We don't have to just be in Detroit. We can be in LA, Chicago, Japan. It doesn't matter. Sandwich week, because sandwiches are an international item. It's the greatest equalizer of the greatest equalizer that is food. Sandwiches work everywhere. All right, and so what I really love about this, and Carlos, you are really active in, in the food scene and the restaurant scene here in Detroit. And um, it's also supporting a lot of the, you know, the grassroots restaurants and things like that that are churning out great food every week. What are some of the, you know, some of the shops and places saying to you about, the, you know, the reaction of when people are coming in and kind of making it their own tradition to get on the sandwich train? That is awesome that people can you know, still support local business, number one. That's that's the greatest thing about who we are in our nature of the city of Detroit is that we are a local business first community. Community first has always been our action. It's the way that we thrive. But also during this time frame, when everybody's kind of winding down from that Christmas holiday, Hanukkah, and people are getting the chance to really just say, oh, we have time with family, we have time with friends, let's go grab some food. And the businesses love the support, We'll encourage everybody to go to any sandwich business. But in that week, the week between the two, we're actually going to six different sandwich businesses. As a crew, come and meet us up. It's going to be high grade, mudgies, ladder four is doing a special sandwich for us. Um, Vanilla's, we're doing like a tailgate for lunch at Friday, um, Friday the, uh, the 29th. And then in the evening, we'll be announcing raffle prizes because they're getting raffle tickets if you attend any of the events. Uh, and that raffle prize and sandwich extravaganza is gonna be at Rocco's at 6 p.m. on the 29th. And then Saturday is the last hurrah. Ernie's, if you know about Ernie, he loves you, we love him. So you're at Mudgie's right now, which is one of my favorite places. I always go when they do lobster rolls, um, which is fantastic. And please tell me that, like, what do you got? Are you eating something right now? Or are you waiting until you're off the air with me? Um, I just had the soup. I'm waiting on my sandwich to get here. The sandwich that I ordered today is, they have the jerk sandwich, but I get it as a wrap. And I do no tomato, I add pickles, and I call it the mudgy shawarma. I mean, nice. Now, how did you go about picking the places that you're that you're going to for sandwich week? Uh, a place like, oh, here it is. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, okay, you. you gotta show us the sandwich for, before you answer the question. There you go. <laughs> nice. So places like Mudgies or High Grade have been staples in this community. Greg Mudge was always a, a great friend of mine, and so is the whole crew that's here at Mudgies. And everybody who has been a friend of mine and supportive, we've always wanted to make sure that they're staples. You know, when Rocco's opened up, those guys were already friends before they even opened up. And here they are today with one of the best Italian sandwiches in the Metro Detroit. Period. Um, a place like... Uh, Ernie's was a staple in terms of it being part of the original sandwich when we had the time to stand in line at Ernie's, get this massive sandwich, and then eat it in our cars or outside. 
and then take maybe half of it back to the office and then eat it about an hour later, two hours if we could. But then, like, we've got Ladder 4 being the new one. Uh, the best restaurant right now in the city of Detroit, by far, um, as noted by the Detroit Free Press and Bon Appetit magazine. And they're putting together a special sandwich for us because they just wanted to do it. We don't even know what it's going to be. I'm excited. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So run down the list again of where everyone can be each day for Sandwich Week. And then give us a little perspective of how, okay, I love that you've got the merch there. You've got the sign. <laughs> and then give us a little bit of perspective of how you've seen the food scene here in Detroit change in the last couple of years. Of course. So real quick, the list is Tuesday the 26th at 1 o'clock, it's going to be High Grade Deli. Wednesday the 27th, Mudgee's at noon, but that's going to run till 3. So you can come anytime between noon and 3, come hang out, grab a sandwich, grab some drinks. Uh, ladder 4 on the 28th, Thursday, and that's going to be at noon. Line up, get a sandwich, grab a bottle of wine, sit down, hang out. And then Ganella's on Friday the 29th, that's going to be at noon as well. Later that night on the 29th, 6 p.m. at Rocco's. Full party, and then Saturday the 30th at noon, Ernie. And you asked me about the, the the way that the evolution of the food scene in Detroit has been. There's so much beauty in what we've had previously. The OG, gang for your boss, everybody support everybody. You know, Coney, small shops, ribs, the the good spots sprinkled throughout the city of the uh, of Detroit that are are gems to the community and always have been. But then as time went by, we had things that were, you know, not necessarily high end and not necessarily something that was just, you know, a small community spot. But instead we found things that were very like for everybody across the board, like Chapinos or Mudgies that became staples in our community, that became everything that we crave every day. I crave this sandwich. And there's craveable items across the city that I'm happy and proud to say that I get a chance to eat pretty often. And those items are building and building and, and the food community is evolving and I'm, I'm just happy to be part of it. All right, Carlos, thanks for taking us into the sandwich world. We appreciate it. We're gonna have to, we're gonna catch up with you next week. So sandwich week next week in the city of Detroit and really um, enjoying a lot of those gems that um, and, and great restaurateurs and, and people are running these places uh, with a lot of loyalty and love. So. Thanks so much. It's good to see you. You rock, Christy. Thank you so much. Cheers. Happy yes. sandwich to all and to all a good day. I'm super jealous you get to eat that sandwich right now. Enjoy lunch, Carlos. We'll see you next week. You take care of yourself. <laughs>